Some people like them big, rounded and firm. Others like them medium or small. Another group is just content with what it has. We are talking about breasts of women. Breast enhancement is a common practice in most parts of Europe and elsewhere on the continent. But this practice is fast catching up here in Ghana. And our reporter Rebecca was set out to find out why the craze for breast enhancement and implants and its negative impacts. Watch this. It has become fashionable for some women to expose the top of their breasts. Much as this is fashion, it puts pressure on women who have relatively small breasts to prop them up by enhancing them through injection, the use of pills, creams, silicones and sometimes opting for breast implants. But what do men and women say about breasts? Do they like them big or do they like them small? <laughs> Big size. Like what I have, I'm proud of it. And I would like to have this one. I prefer the medium type, just like what I have. But I don't want something big because I'm already huge, like big a little. So I don't want something that will overweight me. Different countries have different views when it comes to breasts. In the United States, for instance, men feel the bigger they are, the better. However, in some countries like Ghana, the smaller the breast, the more attractive they are. In some cultures, breast cosmetology is encouraged, whilst in others, the breast is beaten into shape, a measure aimed more at preventing the woman from being attracted to men. God knows the reason why he gave each and every one the size of breast that he gave to the person. And if you want to enlarge it, I think there is a side effect because um, you should be content with what you have. Unfortunately, for women, when the breasts are too big, this can cause back problems and other health problems as well. Regardless of this, many women are so eager to please their men that they go for breast enlargement only to regret the decision later. The pressure is from the men. They want the bouncing ones, so some of the ladies want to please them, so therefore they go in for the enhancements. For some strange reason, when we're kids, People frown on bigger breasts. Even now, there's called breast enhancement. People are enhancing their nose, eyes, breasts, and their behinds, and all, all sorts of places. These may not be natural. Yes, I don't know about breast implants uh, happening, but some form of enhancement, uh, yes. Um, at this at this center, we have all sorts of breast enhancement procedures that um, you know, that we do. To, to help women to achieve that aim. There are many reasons why a woman would want to go for surgical operations to enlarge the breast. For some women, it is because their breasts are smaller. For others, because their partners want it that way. But though breast implants can be helpful, it can also be harmful. You have a, a lady in her, in her 20s, in her 30s, and the breast is almost falling flat, and she feels so bad about it. Please. Your self-esteem is, um, is the most important thing that sometimes you, you want to redeem, okay? If, if that worries you, if it doesn't worry you, because believe me, if you, don't, if you don't do anything about it, it's not going to kill you, you understand? But if it does worry you, it affects the way you feel you look, okay? And you see yourself and so on, it's going to make your spirit down and depressed many times. Um, the good news is that something can be done about it. Apart from the fact that somebody wants to enhance their beauty, that's the good side of it, and it's their choice. But if you don't do it well, it may be expensive, and then it also brings some untoward effects like the cancer that they have, especially if the implants are not are substandard. Apart from the fact that they have their psychological and social effects, I believe that once it's prescribed by a qualified medical professor that you need a breast implant, fair enough. Because then they would have taken you through the nuances, the pros and cons of it, and you have an informed choice. Breast enlargement is not common in Ghana, but there are fears that the practice can take hold in the country, given the craze for Western culture. All things are permissible, not all things are good. So be very careful when you hear about these things, seek knowledge. Go to those who know about it, let them advise you so that you don't go and experience by disease in quotes. French health authorities are considering whether to suggest that an estimated 30,000 women in France 
get their breast implants removed amid warnings by leading doctors about risk of rapture and possible cancer risk. The British government is also facing a lot of difficulties to review the 40 breast silicone implants as more than 40,000 British women undergo breast silicone implants annually. If you're going to do this, do it as you're doing it for yourself. Um, not for, for the man or what, not for what somebody else. Um, you should be happy before anybody else is, 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 is happy. You should love yourself um, you know, best. If it is not going to make you, the woman, happy, please forget it. I mean, you, you won't achieve the kind of aim and impact that, that you want. Education is the key to preventing Ghanaian women from engaging in this practice, especially given the increase in breast cancer cases. Rebecca Iwa, GBC 24.